Hello everybody. Didn't think I will make a video for you today, but I have um, oh I don't know just this for this last three days I probably did not record even one video. Good thing I pre-recorded some video before just my <laughs> my um, energy running away somewhere so what i want to do uh maybe by working on this bunny will make me a little bit uh, start back into crafty all i do this week is just a cross stitch and cross stitching but what i thought about i uh, i want to test it out this um, tray that we received with you not long ago and that is was from Pancel this tray and DP Clubs Bonnie from DP Clubs. So what I will do, yeah, for those who didn't watch my unboxing, we have in here this little tiny spoon that you can fold in half. A little brush if we need to put our diamonds later back. And I pick number seven, which would be this uh, kind of gray, dark gray color. So what I will do, um, I will try just a one first. I'm not going to use it as a multi-color tray, just one. Because if you remember, I was tested out uh, the, the one that is silicone one. That one was horrible. Okay, let me just figure out which correct size to do. I was also trying to do my nails today a little bit, didn't finish, so forgive me for the nails. Okay, so I will try this use one tray and see how this will spread it out because the silicone one was keep sticking. Obviously, it's a very tiny tray, <laughs> so we will have to put very little bit of these gems and I just want to see if this is even possible to kind of well kind of in here better than the other one we, we can create a little bit lines but not too many diamonds you can put in here it's such a little tiny sections but if you work in maybe like with the special gems diamonds where you have not too much of the um, diamonds and you have a little bit of the colors in here we have 25 colors on this canvas, but you know, like sometimes you have diamond painting with special gems, could be 8 or 10 colors, so you can put like a bigger gems in here, I don't know. Well, I still like this one better than the other one, because we can create lines, and this is plastic, it's easy to get into here, and also probably will be easy to put back into the container which you know what we can demonstrate right now and see how this will work if i can zoom a little bit more close so you can see so we're going to open this little like a little closure and then let's see how diamonds will flow in a okay so you can see it's taken a little bit like on a corner so you have to kind of wiggle 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 and then one diamonds in here stuck so for that reason we have this little brush to kind of push this diamond a little bit down and work on it okay so for this video i will work with this tray probably um, some other time now i'm just going to put in a bigger tray so i have a more lines if to work with something more maybe colorful then i will have like confetti spot that I want to work with many colors uh, that would be better for this particular design I have lots of light colors and if I put them all right now a hundred percent I will mix up them all and place diamonds on a wrong on a wrong symbol so I better go safe and work one at the time and that would be so much better See, even in a bigger tray, the diamonds are like 
but so sparkle with this uh, extra light that I have my magnifier pointing from this side, the other light from like on an angle. So for me to work on a canvas, I'm just going to put my glasses, um, magnifier, not the glasses, magnifier that sits on my forehead and I will use this, this pretty pen. I will love the sparkles. See how pretty. By the way, uh, this is just a one layer of extension gel. I didn't do nothing. I was uh, this uh, two basically same thing, just a thicker coat of the gel. I try some design in here. Catherine says she like it. I'm not certain, but I wanted to try this one, and I think I will do tutorial on this nails. I will do maybe in each nail different tutorials. So That's going to be my experimental hand okay because i need to create some videos from my other channel so that's why uh it's the bare one and i just like finish basically all day probably almost uh took me time to do them it just everything was going wrong i don't know i just couldn't get anything go right to me right now so let me just take it off my sweater because now i'm getting hot i was drinking hot tea now I'm hot. Now I'm hot. Okay, so what I choose to do in here, I will do pointing to you. Oh, by the way, on Wednesday, I finally, in five years or how many I'm on, a tu on YouTube, I figure out that uh, let me try to flip my video that you know how I usually stitch and you watching me like upside down stitching. So I flipped my video, it was look like you seen it from my point of view. So that's what I did, I flipped my video in the program. Um, I wish uh, you could tell me if that was better for you to watch or not. But right now I'm not going to flip, but I will do um, just kind of like a face in you. So you will see the design from your like face and your symbol so that should be give you better view maybe like this or hold on let me move more make it more from the top okay i hope this will be okay for you and I'm just going to show you the shine of these diamonds. So pretty. And yes, I I actually finish all those uh, white gems, see those blue. So I work uh, once by myself on this design so far. Okay, now I don't remember. Oh, this one's square. I thought this one was round. Let's, let's see. Catherine give it to me her tools so I don't know what kind of I think maybe it's a clear gel inside of this pen I'm not sure but let's let's try it okay if I need to replace I will replace so right now, as I record this video, it is, what is this, 25th of January. And today, snowfall in here, like a big one. Okay, I do need to get a little bit more wax. I think it's a clear gel up there, but I'm just going to replace with some. Try to put this blue, see if it's going to work better. So my diamonds will stick a little bit better, so we can do faster. I think I picked correct one because the other one was, you see, I don't know if you will see or not, there is, um, you see this is like square can you see 
Uh, doesn't want to point it out. The tip is square. But I thought that this one was square, unless I mistake, because um, I have this one in here too with the pearls. And let me. Is this one round? Oh, yeah. Okay, so this one was round, but I thought this one square. Kind of very similar hole. All right, anyway. Since I already refill it, it's not very big difference between uh, square and round. By the way, uh, when Catherine gave me her tools, I totally forgot that uh, she was practicing uh, with those rulers to create, you know, straight lines. And I thought I have some more tools when I was doing my video of tools for diamond painting. I totally forgot about them. So uh, what she had in her, uh, hold on, hold on. Where are they? Where are they? Oh, this one. You see like this one frames that I totally forgot I have. So one of them for the round diamonds and one for square. So the square, me personally, I don't think I tried it. I tried a round one for me that was like way too slow, wasting my time. But diamonds, of course, was layering nice and straight. So maybe one day we will practice more on something that I have um like a bigger background so i can place this frame because in here when it's all this um lots of different colors i don't think i would like to use the framelits not framelits um how you call them ruler yeah so that's the extra tool she decided she don't have a room in her bedroom for that she kicking everything out just so she has more room for her books she's a book aholic she likes to read books a lot she's shopping on amazon all the time for some books her friend at school that all she, she they do together it's talking about books So yes, now I have some extra tools in here to put away. But I know a few months later from now, she will be like interesting again. She She's like excited, excited, and then she kind of cool down a little bit. She has enough. And then she would start again. It happened like this before. So we are creating right now branches from the bush. That's going to be covered with the frosty snow. What a beautiful diamonds. They are so... Oops, forgot the diamond to pick so sparkle lots of um like when i'm looking in the tray lots of cuts on them that's why amazingly sparkle oh, yes of course i have an extra light that's why sparkle even more but not all not all diamonds sparkle like this even with the lights or you know sometimes i try to do flashlight to give you more exciting sparkles but it wouldn't work it depends on quality yeah i thought i will finish this design much faster but somebody demanding that i should finish cross stitch first the girl face the girl fox the gamer that's what i was stitching if some of you want to see more progress how much i stitch you can check my instagram 
but also you can see this on Monday I think I will add a little episode of that stitching to my Monday video that I will kind of record through the week okay my wax already gone deeper it's I I afraid it's going to be like open all the way in here I don't know how deep this wax can sink up there but it feels like forever need to be all the time refill new wax and I'm not even put any like pressure The only thing that I can say about these diamonds, they not kind of, I don't know if we can see or not, but some of them smaller than the other. It looks equal and then here and there you can see very tiny one, like for example in here one, unless it's just like piece of garbage not developed. Now it's stuck like... I don't know, like this one is super tiny. Finally, my kids getting better. Both of them, actually husband started last week. He got a little bit sick, his throat sick. Then my kids pick from him and it was like a hot and throw sore and Catherine and Ivan. So I thought for sure I will get that too. But you know what? So far I survive all of them. And obviously we always kinda together. Okay, since we have the same diamonds, we are going to start a little bit on Bonnie. Well, this is basically will create probably shadow underneath him. This dark gray. Unless it's his feet, kind of. I didn't watch movies for so long on TV. I keep kind of sticking to the um, YouTube channel. So finally, Catherine was watching some movie on Netflix and doing her schoolwork at the same time. So I just sat down on the sofa and decided to see what's what she's watching. And I was so kind of even more excited about the movie that probably she is because she say, oh, that, we, that movie already was like from last year. It's not new movie. You know what's called? Um, Troll. I did not see that movie. Well, basically, yes, it's a fantasy that troll came alive and started <laughs> threatening people. <coughs> but... Believe it or not, I like this kind of stuff. So I was watching Troll, then I was watching... Uh, what's that called? Fantasy Island or something? That it's... Instead of fa fantasy, it's came to the nightmare. So that was kind of fun movie as well. So I stuck doing not much, but watching two movies yesterday. feel like not to do nothing and I need to do a lot to keep me busy otherwise I will be go under the weather so I guess after the video usually that's what I do when I finish record video then I you know, start to upload video to computer and I just keep working with the same color till I done. So
so if I will do next time we will have few more colors finished and yes I don't mind to work on this progress project a little bit longer it's not like we need to finish this weekend that's it because we have a rabbit here all year we can work all the way I remember that I have one more cross stitch of rabbit or it's a two bunnies I think in a counted cross stitch and I was just thinking should I start one more but you know what no because right now I'm already stitching the girl that I did not expect to start this soon and then when I will do test of the 18 count the magical world then uh, my as well will stitch little by little maybe kind of scares me that all this confetti is on that canvas not as much confetti but like similarity on color wise of that design symbols it's going to be I believe not going to be very simple to do And again, wax already run almost inside. If I put in here blue tack, the blue tack kind of uh, harder product, not very easy to push inside. So I think it will work a little bit better instead of the soft wax. It's not sticking. Okay, let me grab. Let me go. Okay, I have this regular one, <laughs> cute, um, uh, the squishy. So I'm just going to I have a blue tack in here. Let's see if this will be better, at least for now, to finish video because otherwise I will have to keep refilling it. Somebody asked me how to do straight lines if you don't have a circles around the symbol. Well, kinda, you just have to aim your diamond right on the top of the symbol. That should do. Also on the very end, you can always straighten your lines a little bit with the tools that I show you in my tools and accessories video. Okay, you know what, I will be flipping this canvas upside down now to you. Because in here on the top I have so much more of the symbols you see in here. So we are just going to... and start from this corner in here it's a little bit more simple so it so I don't have to move can we solve the type on the squeaky can we do oh my video about to stop well let's let's do a little bit more it's already 24 and it's recorded this time. Just a couple more minutes at least to create video, maybe half an hour or 
many of you say that you like to watch long video my youtube channel showing me difference but you know <gasps> by the way thank you everyone we last night we uh, step over 21,000 of subscribers and right now I think it's 21,000 plus another 10 subscribers welcome welcome and uh, yes lots of people watching me every day but not subscribing unless you don't have like YouTube I think if you don't have a Google account uh, you cannot subscribe maybe that's why most of you are watching just without commenting or subscribing but that, that was my point how I started my video because I wanted to comment for people on some good videos and YouTube wouldn't let me if I don't have Google account with them so I created Google account with all well, my as well just create YouTube channel and that way even if I don't use anything from my channel, I can, at least I can, you know, interact with people, comment on good video, thanks for a good tutorial, whatever. So that was how I started my channel. Because I wanted to give my respect to YouTubers for creating good videos. Okay, here's the big chunk. Let's do in here a little bit. Okay, I definitely need some more diamonds. Actually, you know what let's try to do since I have in here my multiplacer let's try to do maybe a couple of lines see if it's going to work for this canvas because sometimes would be not comfortable let's see if this maybe will work all right four placer one of my favorites I keep telling this all the time. Okay, I should start from the bottom. Good thing about multiplacer, you can pick not just the four but also if you have a two or three diamonds next to each other so that's how we can speed up our process a little bit now a couple of twos There. See how fast we created this? Uh -huh. That's what good about multiplacer. Should we do a little bit more? Right in here on the top. Let's create more lines. See how beautiful they line up on this tray. Lots of lines. Walk. 
yeah usually I put like first diamond then I'm kind of walking like this uh, but at this point I think I'm closing uh, I'm closing too much with my hand so you you will not good to see so I need to readjust camera with the better angle maybe a little bit okay at least now I think it's yeah at least now you you see in the diamonds not my hand sorry about that okay so now this lines in here as we can see it's not exactly straight right so what I will do, I have next to me all the tools, trace, hold on, what is my straightener, okay, oh here it is. Oh, I have in here my straightener. So this one from Dreamers, big one for now. And I can see that this line is a little bit not exactly straight as I would like them to be. So we're going to line by line. A little bit push it to make them more straight. And that's how your lines you can fix it see it's much better and then you can do the same thing this way but obviously you need to to create more so your tool like doesn't stick in here where there's no diamonds yet okay what is this turning into a tutorial video or what do not plan that all right now but just do one by one Funny thing that I was just talking to you about my family and kids and I feel like my throw acting up a little funny. I hope I'm not getting it. Staying home these days didn't go nowhere. Possible we'll see Sherry this week. I'm just going to like work around and little bunny will be probably in the very end or well, maybe not very end to create bunny because same colors that bunny has also in here you know those patches of some kind of grass brown and same color bunny has on his fur so if I will use this end symbol, then I'm just going to put them on a the bunny as well. Wrap it. Oh, they are so cute. Ok, 
Okay. I think I'm going to finish this video right now here. Not going to do a very long one. But let me just put diamonds away and we can see what we created so far. Uh, I don't think I'm going to work on this design tonight. I feel like probably cross stitch more. Just uh, not on the diamond painting with these days. I don't know what is going on. But here what I created after we did video. All the white diamonds that you can see in here. That's like the, the most brightest highlights in the snow. And then uh, we started with you this uh, blue diamonds in here. So I went and I created all the way on the top of the sky as you can see. And yeah, lots of in here. Looks good. If I can show you them together for example. Uh, like the quality of the diamonds which you saw already. They are super sparkle. Very, very good quality diamonds. Very, very nice. Very sparkle. I like that. And he is gorgeous. He is gorgeous. Maybe tomorrow on the daylight I will create, finish this gray color. Maybe next time we will work with you on something let's see what kind of color is that is it something pretty 823 so it's going to be blue 12 let me check 12 oh that's not the one i have two canvases on here almost pick wrong color yeah definitely like it's a dark dark blue color so I wanted something more colorful. Well, basically in here not much colorful because everything is gray. But he is cute. He is cute. I love this bunny. He's nice. Okay. Thank you for staying with me. And I will see you tomorrow with something new.